to make the gift box that is on the wild card Cricut cartridge. You are going to need the wild card cartridge, a ruler, a 12 by 12 sheet of heavy cardstock. Um, I have a little printed tag. I wrote your lifesaver because I want to fill my box with lifesavers. Some heavy duty glue. I have wet glue and I have dry glue. I have um, some ink because I want to ink up my little tag. And a bone folder or something that you can help to crease the lines in the gift box. And um, some vellum or clear plastic that you can use to fill in the hole that the box is going to create. So let's go ahead and get this project started. I already have here selected my 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. This is from the Mind's Eye pack and I like it because it's glittered and it's really heavy duty. So let's go ahead and uh, get this loaded in there. Now this is using the wild card cartridge with the Cricut and this gift box is on page 80 of the book and I want to use the top gift box. I like the square better than the little scallop one. So in order to get the top one you have to hit the shift button when you're working. So we're going to hit the shift and the gift box button and if you look up in your little picture window it shows gift box 2 which is the gift box that I want to use. And then I want to hit my fit to page button. That will make the Cricut make the box as big as it can using as much uh, size of this paper as it can. So let's go ahead and get this cut and it's going to calculate to tell you what size it's going to cut it at and it's going to cut it at five and three quarters. And you're going to want to know that size because we're going to have to cut a tag and a strip and it's going to have to match that size. Okay, it cut the gift box out and now what I want to do is, the first thing I want to do is make sure I take off my fit to page button otherwise it will print the tag and the strip really large and then I'm going to move my dial size to the five and three quarters and that will make sure that it matches the size of my box which was five and three quarters and I'm going to use the shift button again and this is on the frame feature so you want to hit the frame the shift and the gift box and you should see up here and that's what I want the little circle in the tag and I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out okay so this is what was cut my gift box my tag and my little strip. Now you want to flip it over and you'll notice little slit lines that the Cricut's created and that's to help you decide where you want to score so you can fold up your box. So you just want to kind of just go down the box and match up the score lines, the slit lines so you can score each one and I use a ruler so that my lines are straight because so, I want my box to be folded and look like a box and you just uh, match these up and it will help create the box. Now it did cr uh, cut out a little indent right on the top and that tells you that that's the top of the box and you'll want to know what the top is so that you don't glue the top closed. You can put something on the inside of it and I think I have one more that I missed right here okay so now all my lines are scored and before we put all together um, we are going to want to use a piece of vellum which I cut it three by four and we're going to want to glue this down first because once you put the box together you can't uh, do it from the inside because the box will be already put together so I just use some of the Zig glue. It seems to work pretty good. I've made a couple of these boxes and it's it's stayed on so I'm good with using that glue pen on this project. I'll just give it a press down. I am going to stamp my name on the back of the box before I put it together so that I don't have to try and do it once the box is together. And then I'm going to go, hold, go ahead and fold in all my crease lines so I can figure out where I should be putting my tape and my glue. And you want to use a heavy duty tape or glue for this box because it is a box and you are going to be putting stuff inside of it so you want it to stay together. So now what I do is I quickly put the box together so I could see where I should be gluing. 
So this is the top of the box, and I could tell by the little indent there. So I'm going to want to glue this side, this side, and these two little flaps. So now I'll turn it back, and I just like this little, I don't even know what the name of this little glue uh, tape runner is, but I think the, the little sticky tape on it is really heavy duty, and I like it when I, uh, to use it on boxes. And now we'll just start folding and pressing because you want it to stay together. You don't want it to fall apart. Press that to this one. And then you want to fold the top over and make sure it's lined up really nicely. And then I do stick my hands on the inside and give it uh, some pressure to make sure that this, the tape adheres to each other in the paper. And then make sure that the top does fit in there. Sometimes you may have to trim up the side uh, flap, but this one seems to actually fit in there pretty good. Um, and that's, that's the box. Really fast and easy to put together. And here's the little tag. I just ran this through my computer. I just typed up your lifesaver and then I went back with the Cricut and I used my center and I did a scallop around it. And I, it's really white because I just used white paper. So I'm going to use some green and just kind of dab my ink around it just so it's not so white on my tag. And here's the strip that it printed out and it cut out. And you just feed it through these little slits push it through and center it up I want to make sure that's in the center of my box just like that I'm going to go ahead and put my little Euro Lifesaver down on it first right in the middle and then I'm going to tape this whole thing right to my box. Good. Looks good. And now I'm just going to put this right in the middle and press it down on the inside so it, it sticks and stays on. And I'm going to take some of my lightsabers and I'm just going to fill the box. And then close it up. And there you have it. A cute little Your Lifesaver box filled with lifesavers. Please come over and visit our blog, www.doubleclickconnections.blogspot.com. We'd love for you to join, be a follower. We have lots of photos over there, lots of other projects, and we hope you enjoy.